Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from Diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge you want help with, we're here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. We love hearing from you. If you have comments or success stories you'd like to share, questions about our longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products, ingredients or formulations, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products right off the website. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Biomimetic Mineral Mist, our Truth Retinol 1% Gel, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, first designed as a burn cream. My Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream is formulated in my compounding pharmacy. All my, all my True Skin Health products were originally formulated in my compounding pharmacy, and they were formulated originally to deal with burns and cuts and scrapes. What I noticed was when you heal burns and cuts and scrapes and eczema and psoriasis and acne-prone skin, you get more beautiful skin, more glowing skin, more healthy skin. So if you can't use your favorite anti-aging product on a cut or a scrape and have it heal that cut or scrape, it's probably not doing much anti-aging for you. Likewise, a moisturizer. If you use your so-called moisturizer, uh, if you put your moisturizer on a cut or scrape, if it was really doing something for your dry skin, it would actually be creating a chemical change that could be used for growing tissue. That's what I discovered in the pharmacy is when you grow tissue, when you activate chemistry in the skin, you get healthier skin. And if you're not activating chemistry, you're not changing the health of the skin. And most skincare products do not activate skin chemistry. And you can tell this by just putting it on a burn and seeing what happens. And that's also why, conversely, true skin health products are all about, or all, can all be used for healing the skin as well as for uh, anti-aging the skin. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. And if you order in the next... Uh, let's see, till 6 o'clock tonight, we got a, a special free shipping. If you put in the promo code TRUTH on IG, I should say today is uh, October 24th. Uh, if you do it till 6 o'clock today, October 24th, uh, 6 p.m. this evening, you will get free shipping. If you go to, tr if you go to truthtreatments.com and put in the promo code TRUTH on IG, TRUTH on IG, T R U T H O N I G, that's for TRUTH on Instagram. Uh, I did an Instagram post. If you guys aren't on Instagram, you might want to check it out. Um, it's, uh, it's a really neat way to, to get short ideas and short messages across. And I do Instagram live posts once. I try to do them once a week, sometimes once every couple of weeks. So if you're not on Instagram, get on it and uh, look for us at Truth Treatments. That's our, our Instagram moni moniker, Truth Treatments. All right. 
back to our, uh, our story about enzymes and foods and energy and mitochondria and oxygen. And that's what really health is about at the end of the day. It's about energy. It's about electrical energy specifically. Anything that helps support electrical energy, the conduction of electrical energy, and the, uh, the intelligent direction the intelligent movement of electrical energy. It's not just random electrical energy. It's intelligent movement of electrical energy. And that's what the body is. That's what makes the body healthy. The body is going to be as healthy as it is organized. Disease is disorganization. Chronic disease is disorganization. Organization can be said to be when something has a form when something is organized, it has a form. When it's in organization, it's in formation. Information equals organization. Organization equals information. And the body is organized. It's an inform system. It's, in, it's information. And disease is when that breaks down, when we're not as organized, when we don't have our information is noisy. In information theory, yes, there's something called information theory. There's noise and there's information. Noise is, you know, interferes with information. The body becomes more noisy in many ways. Electromagnetically, it becomes more noisy. If you could listen to it, you would hear it's more noisy. And by the way, the body is singing. It's making sounds, musical sounds. It's it literally, you can actually put devices on various cells and various parts of the body and trans, uh, transduce the electrical energy into sound energy and you can get sound from the body. Everything in life actually makes sound. Everything living makes sound and that's basically what life is about. It's about organized information that forms, a, if you could detect it, music. Pretty much everything is going to form some kind of sound if you uh, can transduce its electrical energy, but the organization and the complexity and the music, uh, music is like not just sound, it's complex music, and the music that comes out of the body is pff, um, beyond belief if you could listen to it correctly, and there are, have been people who have played it, who have done this. Anyway, as we get sick, we become more organ uh, less organized. We, get, we, we become disorganized. So structuring the body is what health is about or restoring our body to health is about restoring our structure, restoring our information. And this is done into, with two, from a nutritional standpoint anyway, this is done uh, in two ways. Number one, just pure energy is put into the system. We get plenty of that. We get plenty of pure energy. You need to have raw materials, uh, uh, raw energy. But then you have to structure the energy. You've got to organize the energy. The energy has to be put into a form. It has to become in formation. And this is done with micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. That's what vitamins and minerals do. They make the body sing. A Snickers bar is noisy. A carrot or a stick of celery organizes the noise. Yes, that means if you're eating more, the more Snickers bars you're eating, the more carrots you need or the more supplements you need. The crappier you're eating, the more beyond tangy tangerine you need because the BTT is required to organize the noise. That's what crappy food is. It's noise. That's what Snickers bars are and McDonald's uh, hamburgers and French fries. These are all noise to the body. Celery and cucumber and a pepper or, for that matter, uh, shrimp or uh, octopus is structuring molecules. I say shrimp and octopus because they're pretty pure, pure, pretty much pure nutrition. But basically, your micronutrients are going to be found in produce, organ meats too, eggs. Those are anywhere you get lots and lots of these micronutrients is going to help organize things. Now, the interaction between micronutrients and pure energy, between the organizing s substances and the raw material, the raw energy, this interaction will happen just by putting the two together. But it won't happen very effectively. It'll happen randomly. If you have micronutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and then you have raw material, uh, uh, Snickers bar, just raw energy, and put them together, they'll interact a little bit, but they won't interact maximally. In order to have these micronutrients interact maximally with the energy to organize it, you need a magical interacting molecule a special molecule that can bridge the two and really make things happen. And make things happen at a super fast rate, much faster than what happened if it was random. And we'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side. We will be back right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. And thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at ben, uh, brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com. Also, you can purchase Young Jeopardy products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got blog posts and news stories, and we'd love to have you as a member of the team. We'd love to have you join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself if you're an entrepreneur. If you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, which is not for everyone, but if it is for you, and you like the world of health, and you've noticed, uh, or you've noticed health benefits from supplementing or using the longevity supplements in your life or the life of a loved one or family member. This is a great business opportunity. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself. You can help people. You can change lives at the most basic level there is, which is the level of good health. We can help you build your business. We can train you in nutrition as well as in business, uh, business ideas and business concepts. Longevity is all about upping your game, making you better at business, making you better in the world of nutrition, making you better in life. For a one-time $25 fee, you can be in business for yourself. You can also just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. Go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and click on the Join the Team link. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more information, 866-735-2470. Our number here on the bright side, 844-236-6010. we got lines open for you. If you've got questions about anything we're speaking about here today or health challenges you want help with, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. So micronutrients help organize macro uh, energy, we'll say. Macronutrients contain energy. So the micronutrients help the body utilize the energy that's trapped in the protein and the fat and the carbohydrates. That's how it all works together. We've, we've talked about this a lot. The micronutrients organize the macro, uh, the energy so that the energy now becomes structured. The energy becomes in form. The energy becomes in formation. And it's this interaction between micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, and raw energy that is what keeps us going. It's what health is about. It's what life is about. Micronutrient deficiency is a huge problem because... We get lots of the energy, but not the structuring elements. And the structuring elements, the stuff that puts us in a form, information, when it's missing, we become noisy. We become chaotic. We become sick. Disease is noise. Disease is chaotic energy. And that's what, that's basically, this is what Dr. Wallach talked about in the 1950s, 1960s. That's what we've been talking about since he was a kid. He didn't put it this way. But that's, this is what's happening at the electromagnetic, now, uh, electromagnetic level. However, this interaction between micronutrients and energy is extremely important. However, it doesn't happen, it happens, but just doesn't happen really fast. It doesn't happen fast enough for, uh, it's kind of random. How a vitamin hits the energy, it's just, it, it's not, it, it, it's not, um, it doesn't happen at a rate that's fast enough to really make anything happen. So in order for the rate to happen at a fast enough clip, at a fast enough pace so that life can occur, because life is lots of energy, lots of interactions, lots of structure. In order for this to happen to the degree it needs to happen for, for livingness to occur, you need special molecules that pull the whole thing together. These special molecules change this random interaction into a really, really fast interaction. Millions, billions of times faster. This interaction occurs millions to billions of times faster with these magical molecules. They're, and they are truly magical molecules. These molecules that bridge, that connect the micronutrients, the vitamins and the minerals to the energy. You know what we call these little magical molecules? We call these little magical molecules, and we've said this term, we've all said, if you're in the world of nutrition, we've said this term millions, of, it, so many times. You know, uh, uh, every day we talk about these things. They're called enzymes. That's what an enzyme is. An enzyme is a molecule that can pull the whole thing together at a rate that's super duper fast, much faster than it would occur randomly. That's why enzymes are so important. They make reactions happen really, really fast. And in addition to this, this property of organizing or of connecting uh, micronutrients to energy, they also, enzymes can also be reused. They do their business of pulling everything together, and then they leave. And then they can be used again. And then again, and again, and again. 
they um, they they don't. It takes a it takes a long time for them to break down and die. Eventually, they'll break down, but they can be reused over and over and over again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And enzymes come from two main sources. Enzymes come from us. We're born with them. Enzymes in the human body are, are we're born with a certain amount of enzymes, and then they come in from food. And this is really important because food enzymes can help us spare our enzymes, because enzymes eventually have a lifespan, they're going to die out, which means we're going to die, because once the enzymes die out, we die. That's, that's what death is. Death is really a deficiency, some kind of problem, a breakdown in this whole interaction between the micronutrients, the energy, and the enzymes. And eventually, the enzymes break down. So the longer you can keep your enzymes, the longer you will live. Now, nobody's going to live forever, <clears throat> excuse me, and ultimately... You know, it's going to kick in, this, uh, this enzymatic uh, breakdown is going to kick in and we're all going to die. But the longer you can spare your enzymes, the longer you're going to live. A guy named Dr. Edward Howell came up with this idea back in the uh, early 1900s, 1930s, 1940s, somewhere around there. He wrote a book called Enzyme Nutrition in the 1980s, a classic book on enzymes. And this is where he really got, he really got the, uh, elucidated or articulated this theory very clearly. The theory of enzymes and enzyme nutrition. So eating enzymes becomes a major longevity strategy. Eating enzymes. Now, what do you get? How do you eat enzymes? From living food or food that was recently alive, as close to living as possible. Cooking will destroy enzymes. Enzymes are very temperature sensitive. So cooking destroys enzymes. So eating raw food is a great way to get enzymes. Raw veggies, raw fruits. Eggs, raw eggs, are enzyme rich. One of the main reasons why en why eggs are such a power food. Eggs are power food for a lot of reasons, but they contain lots of enzymes. So that's the, the best way to get your enzymes is raw produce, uh, raw milk, raw raw anything really. If it, raw living stuff, I should say. Oysters are a great source of enzymes. Um, let's see what else. Fruits and veg. Fruits and veggies are your best source of enzymes. But of course, there's uh, supplemental enzymes. Supplemental enzymes will help you conserve your enzymes. Enzymes are a longevity supplement because they allow you to conserve your enzymes. And that's includes, that includes digestive enzymes. Digestive, there's three major kinds of enzymes. You have what are called metabolic enzymes. Those are enzymes that just make chemistry happen. They bring all the, thing, all the, mic, the micronutrients and the macronutrients together, or the energy together, or the macronutrients together. They bring it all together so that the body can do its chemistry. Then there's digestive enzymes, and those are specific, uh, a specific type of metabolic enzyme for the digestive system. And then there's detoxification enzymes. The detoxification system works via enzymes because enzymes break things down. And so toxins are broken down via the activity of enzymes. So using... Here's the thing about using enzymes, about eating enzymes, about supplemental enzymes and enzymes from food. When you ingest enzymes from food and you ingest enzymes supplementally and digestive enzyme supplements, guess what? You are sparing your other enzymes for metabolism and detoxification and using digestive enzymes can help you with overall chemistry and detoxification chemistry. How cool is that? All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listen listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. Don't forget to check out uh, our True Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and also our longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase your longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team by clicking on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Got lines open at 844-236-6010, and we'll get your calls in a moment. 844-236-6010. From the, uh, let's see, who is this from? From the Alzheimer's Association International Conference, a recent study found that patients with Alzheimer's disease who took a synthetic cannabis compound, cannabis, marijuana, as in also hemp, synthetic cannabis compound experienced less agitation, 
which is one of the most common symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. This is a, a synthetic version, a drug version of cannabinoids. But guess what? You get the same benefits from CBD, cannabidiol. Those of you doing the longevity business knows there's a uh, three new longevity products with CBD in them, uh, hemp FX, the hemp FX line, hemp FX capsules, hemp FX cream for pain, and hemp FX tincture for sleep. Hemp FX features cannabinoid, CBD that is, which is a specific type of cannabinoid. Cannabinoids are a general, uh, they're a family of molecules. There's lots of cannabinoids found in nature, cannabinoids technically. Cannabinoids are found in hops and they're found in valerian. These are various herbs, hops and valerian and Damiana and uh, St. John's wort contains some. And uh, they're, they're pretty much found ubiquitously in nature, these cannabinoids. They're also found, not surprisingly, in animals, especially human animals. Cannabinoids that are found in plants are also found in, in animals. It's a fundamental molecule in nature. We've known this for about maybe 70 years or so. We've known about the fundamental nature of cannabinoids. And this, to a biochemist or a pharmacist like myself, highlights the extreme stupidity of trying to legislate cannabinoids, of criminalizing cannabinoids. It's like criminal, criminalizing cortisol or criminalizing estrogen or criminalizing serotonin. Oh, that plant had serotonin in it, and you ate it. You are going to jail. Oh, that plant had cortisol in it. Oh, that plant had uh, adrenaline in it, or that plant had dopamine in it, or whatever. You ate that plant. You smoked that plant. You're going to jail. That highlights the extreme idiocy of the government and police and legislature and courts putting people in jail for a long time sometimes, for selling or smoking or whatever, this incredibly fundamental molecule, this very important fundamental molecule that's found throughout nature and found in the human body. And as it turns out, the cannabinoids are especially important, no surprise really, for the brain. Now people smoke THC, tetrahydrocannabinoid, that's a form of cannabinoid that's found in the marijuana plant because they want to change their brain around. They want to alter their consciousness. But it turns out that there are some cannabinoids that do not alter your consciousness, that do not get you eye, uh, eye stoned, who don't, do not get you intoxicated or inebriated, but can have incredible health benefits, especially for the brain. CBD is incredible for the brain. For folks who have Alzheimer's disease, for folks who have seizure disorders, for folks who are depressed or have anxiety problems, all of these are issues that you can use CBD to treat, and effectively, very effectively. CBD's benefits, we talked about it before, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna go into it now, but CBD's benefits for the body are just incredible, absolutely mind-blowingly incredible, and there's a reason why you're seeing now, you're seeing CBD oil everywhere, Big drug companies are getting involved. And, and you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if they make it so only drug companies can, can, uh, can sell CBD or can, can provide us with CBD. But in the meantime, until that happens, it is available everywhere. And if you're dealing with any of these health issues, pain issues, anxiety issues, insomnia issues, diabetes issues, Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome or digestive issues or whatever. And because of this real, very real phenomenon of cannabinoid deficiency, we can be con deficient in cannabinoids. In a way, cannabinoids, CBD, are like a nutritional supplement. They're not nutrition, but it's like a hormonal supplement. It's like a hormonal replacement. Speaking of Alzheimer's disease, this is from, uh, also from the same conference. Uh, San Diego Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's Daycare Center recreates the 1950s to stimulate brains. I first read about this idea, uh, Deepak Chopra writes about it in one of his early books, uh, I think it was Quantum Healing maybe, um, where he talks about how they took elderly patients, they put them in a house and they rearranged the house so that it looked like the 1950s and they all acted younger. Their blood pressure dropped, their uh, blood sugar stabilized, all their markers of aging and disease started to improve. They did the same experiment uh, at the uh, G George G. Glenner Alzheimer's Family Center in Chula Vista, which is actually where longevity is now that I think about it. Um, and uh, they actually got the same kind of benefits. They got brain stimulating benefits by recreating the daycare center to look like the 1950s. 
What this shows you is how powerful our belief system is when it comes to how, how our body ends up showing up. We talk about nutrition all the time and how important chemistry is, enzymes and micronutrients, macronutrients and energy, but our beliefs, how we see the world, our perceptions, how we experience things, plays a major role in how our body shows up. In fact, I would say it plays the major role. As much as I love working with nutrition, I would say the major role in how our body plays up is a function of how we're thinking and how we perceive the world, how we're experiencing and how we're emoting and how we're feeling and never ever underestimate the power of the mind when it comes to how our body shows up for better or for worse. I can always tell if somebody is using nutritional supplements and they're not getting the benefits that they want and they're doing everything correctly. I know a lot of you guys have, have told me that. I'm eating correctly, I'm changing, I'm not eating gluten, I'm taking my supplements, I'm fasting, whatever, but I'm not getting better, chances are really good you're dealing with some kind of mental block or emotional block that's getting in the way of your body healing and regenerating and it's critical to understand this component and to leverage this, this aspect of health by working on mental, and be, mental strategies and belief modulating or belief modifying strategies as well as working on fundamental basic emotions like anger, sadness, uh, or, uh, or fear. Those are the basic ones. Fear, anger, and sadness. Actually, fear is the fundamental one. Anger usually comes on top of fear, and sadness is on top of that. Behind sadness and depression, you'll usually find anger. And behind anger, you'll always find fear. All right, let's do one more here, and then we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. Omega-3 fatty acids, that is from fish oil, as an anti-inflammatory this is from the Journal of, the Sur of Surgical Neurology. An alternative to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for pain. The use of NSAID medication is well-established. Effective therapy for both acute and chronic non-specific neck, uh, neck and back pain, but extreme complications including gastric ulcers, yes, gastric ulcers from your Motrin, ble uh, bleeding, myocardial infarction, that's heart, uh, heart attack, and deaths are associated with their use. An alternative treatment with fewer side effects that reduces the inflammatory response and thereby reduces pain is believed to be omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil, found in your ultimate EFA. I've always said this, your ultimate EFAs are your major control of biochemical control for inflammation and anti-inflammation. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a quick break and come back with you and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back. Before we went to break, we were talking about omega-3 fatty acids for fish oil. I should tell you that uh, if you're going in for surgery, the doctors will tell you not to take your omega-3 fatty acids. They'll tell you, get off of fish oil, because fish oil and omega-3 fatty acids act like blood, thinner, uh, blood thinners. They have blood thinning effect. They have anti-inflammatory effects, and inflammation. Uh, anti-inflammation involves a thinning of the blood. This is really bad advice in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion, using omega-3 fatty acids is not only something that you don't want to avoid, it's something you want to do. The anti-inflammatory benefits of omega-3 fatty acids will facilitate the healing process. They'll make it easier for your body to heal. They'll make it easier for your body to get nutrition, to, uh, for, uh, for your cells to get nutrients, for your body to get nutrients to the cells via the blood. You're not going to overly thin to the point of bleeding. Doctors think nutrients are like drugs. Nutrients are not drugs. They don't, even if they have anti-inflammatory effects, they have it in a gentle way, in an intelligent way. You can't overwhelm the body's inflammatory or anti-inflammatory system with omega-3 fatty acids like you do with a blood thinner. A lot of times people say, well, I'm on blood thinners. I shouldn't take omega-3s or I shouldn't take vitamin E. No. That's crazy. You need more vitamin E if you're on blood thinners. You need more omega-3 fatty acids if you're on blood thinners. It's not like you're going to overwhelm or counteract the blood thinner. The blood thinner is a powerful, a warfarin or Plavix or whatever you're taking is a powerful drug. It's not like you're going to, it's not like you're going to have too much blood thinning if you take omega-3s or vitamin E with your drug. Change the dose of the drug if you're worried about that. Lower the dose of the drug and use your vitamin E and your omega-3s if it's that significant. It's not, but you could always do that. To, to get people off a of uh, nutritional supplement when you're on drugs, it's just crazy to me. When you're on drugs, you need more supplements, not less. When you're healing from surgery, you need more supplements, not less. And it all begins, by the way, pre-surgery. Pre-surgery. 
Pre-surgery is when you want to take your collagen recovery complex from Truth Skin Health Inc. If, you're, if you are uh, going into surgery, go to Truth Treatments, get some collagen recovery complex. If you can start taking it a month ahead of time and a month after, you will heal dramatically faster. And by the way, we have free shipping at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com till 6 o'clock today. Uh, October 24th is today. Until um, 6 p.m., you have to put in the code TRUTH on IG, T R U T H O N I G, uh, in the uh, promo code box. All right, 844 236 6010 is our number. We've got lots of lines open for you this morning, and it's time to go to the phones. Let's say good morning to Terry in Texas. What's up, Terry? Hello. Hey, hey, what's uh, going on? Well, I just had surgery about. Four weeks ago uh, for diverticulitis. Okay. And they took out some of your colon? They took, they took eight inches. Okay. And Did they say what, do you know what part they took out? Yeah, it was the lower, the part that hangs, you know, goes to the lowest. He says that's where usually okay. it the is. The cecum? That's where it was. Okay, gotcha. But, yeah, and he said everything else looked great, you know, after he did took that out, but. Uh, I was just okay. wondering what what I should take to, and my bowel still is not getting back quite back to normal, and they have me on colase, but that doesn't seem to help that much. Okay, so uh, here's the deal. Uh, you're going to need to take, take uh, pl- pay very close attention to your digestive health for the rest of your life. All right, first of all, right. you should be doing fermented food and probiotics. You might want to start off a little slowly. Get the nightly essence and use uh, kimchi or sauerkraut every day. I'd be doing it every day if I were you. Uh, and then also um, make sure that you're uh, using things like uh, apple cider vinegar every day and also fiber. Make sure you're getting fiber. You get some in your fermented veggies, but I would grind up a little flaxy. But start off slowly. And start really slowly because you might get okay. – you don't want to overwhelm the system. Start off really slowly. Get on the liquid nutrients, as, uh, liquid nutrition as much as possible. That means the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Start sipping on it slowly, very slowly. Uh, and fill up a water bottle with a, a cup uh, scoop, and then put a scoop in a water bottle and sip on it very slowly throughout the day, or even half a scoop start off and sip on it slowly throughout the day. I always tell people to uh, put the Beyond Tangy Tangerine in water to taste. You don't want to overwhelm your taste buds. They're, they make the stuff super sweet, super strong. So just find where you like the taste of it and then sip on a water bottle of it all day long. Make sure you're doing lots and lots of homemade chicken soup. Lots and lots of it. Cartilage is your best friend now. Cartilage and bacteria are two best friends. So making sure you're doing all, lots of cartilage. Dissolved cartilage will help heal the intestine, and it will also support uh, the health of the intestinal environment. And then you're also going to have issues absorbing nutrients probably, so you want to make absolutely sure you're on the healthy start pack. That includes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but also the Ultimate EFAs and also the uh, OsteoMag or OsteoFX. And then uh, I, would, I would be throwing in, if I were you, uh, digestive enzymes with your apple cider vinegar and then maybe some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts. Basically, you're working on digestive health and giving yourself nutrients that you're not going to be absorbing. Fatty nutrients might be a problem for you. So you might want to take some extra vitamin A, extra, you know, I, w- I was, was going to say extra vitamin D, but I'm not crazy about vitamin D as a supplement. I would be making sure I got in the sun and then use, use uh, fish oil for uh, vitamin D and maybe use vitamin I, I just, vitamin D supplements, it's not the right form of vitamin D and you don't get, you don't really know how much vitamin D uh, your body needs at any given moment. I, I'd be going with the sun, sun and also fish oil and then maybe, maybe take 5,000 or so. IU of vitamin D as a supplement. Certainly you want vitamin E, 400 international units of that one a day. And then, uh, and I would also be taking in some vitamin K2, maybe 5,000 micrograms of that a day. Uh, get on your ultimate selenium, take two or three of those a day. Uh, make sure you're taking extra zinc, picolinate, 50 milligrams a day, and also copper uh, glycinate. I like copper glycinate the best, maybe two to four milligrams a day. There's lots more you could do, but that's a great start for you. Don't forget the ultimate EFAs. They're super duper important. All right, Ter- uh, Terry, does that help? All right. Anything else? Yeah, that helps. Uh, you know, I don't want to underestimate the importance of uh, the, the yeah. vitamin C either. Mm-hmm. Vitamin C and the B complex are also important, but you'll get those in, in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Thanks for your call, Terry. I'm going to get Terry. one more call in before we go to break, see what uh, Robert has to say. What's up, Robert? How you doing, buddy? Hi, Ben. Hey, Ben, I have a, a question. I heard you on um, Ground Zero the other night talking about oh, nice. polio. 
And, uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, you know, it's probably been around forever. I wondered what happened in the early, early mid 19th century or 20th century that. Brought it's been around forever, that but our. Out. Yeah, that's a good question. It has been around forever. It was never really called polio, but there were these, these kinds of diseases, these nerve diseases, like I was talking on Ground Zero. There's lots of different polio-like diseases that have been around. But the peak of the Industrial Revolution was the late, 1900, late 1800s, and polio is an enterovirus. It's a virus that lives in the gut. It'll, it, it's transmitted through feces. You, are you with me? It's through you know, human waste. And at the peak right. of the Industrial Revolution, we didn't know much about germs or sewage or sewage control. And so there was lots of okay. sewage, nasty sewage stuff that was going on, like the late 1800s, early 1900s. It really start, didn't, get okay. going, didn't get cleaned up until the early 1900s. Coincidentally, that's when the polio vaccine, uh, you know, 30 years later, the polio vaccine came out. So there's a lot of controversy on whether it was the polio vaccine or, or, or our understanding of avoiding sewage and fecal material that is responsible for the drop in polio. Does that make sense? And that's what also accounts for, right. the, for that, the spike in polio right, right around that time is because that was the peak of the Industrial Revolution. And, we, and on top of that, we didn't really know about germ theory or, or the importance of keeping stuff sewage free until the you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. It didn't really get going until then. That's when really the whole uh, uh, chlorinating water, detoxifying water, uh, protecting the environment from sewage, that's when it really started getting, to get going. But before that, uh, we were like drinking our own waste pretty much. A lot of people were. And, oh, wow. and that's what accounts for, uh, that's, what, that's what accounted for the spike in polio. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was always wondering if there's a uh, uh, nutritional connection to it. It probably know, didn't. Or... It probably didn't help that we. That's when food processing really got going, and we exactly, started to eat yeah. a lot of white bread. Yeah, that probably added. I'm sure that added to it. But they did learn about vitamins in the 1930s. They started to understand vitamins 1930s and 1940s, and they started to fortify things. They started to add things to the food, and that again, that might have been one of the reasons why the polio epidemic seemingly. Uh, went away around the same time as the, the uh, polio vaccine came out. So there's a lot of co controversy on whether it was really the polio vaccine or whether it was our understanding of germs and germ theory and nutrition and, uh, and uh, keeping the environment clean, whether it was a combination of all those or whether it was the polio vaccine indeed. And, and in any case, there are a lot of polio-like viruses and polio-like diseases like Guillain-Barre uh, that are still, still with us. And now there's actually kids who are actually getting what they call really polio. They're not sure if it's polio. They think it's a polio-like illness, and that's that was in the news the last couple of weeks. All right, I got to go, Robert. Thank you so much for your call. Hope right, I bye. answered your question. Have a beautiful day, and uh, that's all the time we have for today on the Bright Side. Thanks for listening, friends. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, for all the longevity products, and pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, and also truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.